Hello there YouTube, it's your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. Today we are looking at the Power Rangers Dino Fury Green Ranger with Sprint Sleeve. Yes, very cool. Uh, I've been wanting to review this one for a long time. I actually have some of these for sale in my physical store. So if you want to check that out, uh, it's in Monticello, Georgia, in the shops of Monticello, right on the square. Uh, so if you want to check out my store and get yourself one of these, there you go. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to give a fair and balanced and truthful review. First up, articulation. You have an up and down on the head. A side, two side, and then a wobble. You know I like the wobble. The articulation is different on each arm. You have the pretty standard one here on her left arm. Up, round, bend, swivel. That's that. This one doesn't come up as much. That sh giant shoulder really hinders. It can go out a good bit when you push it towards the back, but not that's so much in and out like that. Uh, there is an elbow bend. It's not going to come as far as this elbow, once again, because of all the stuff going on with this arm, but it does still swivel pretty well. Yoink. Uh, nothing on the waist. The legs are... Oh, a little stiff. In and out. Forward. And a tiny bit back, but not much. She has a very tiny bussy, but it is uh, small enough to let it look back a little. But once, it in, once again, this is a hard plastic bussy, not a rubber bussy like McFarlane and NECA do. Hasbro insists upon hard plastic bussies, and so that's we just gotta deal with that. Or I guess we don't, since they canceled all their Power Ranger toy lines. Ha ha ha. Anyway. <laughs> Ah, we do have a knee bend and rotation as well with peg holes on the bottom of the feeties. Now this is a $10 kid's toy, so I think that articulation is pretty fair for the price and demographic. I think kids can get a lot of good play out of this. And adult collectors, because they did make a lightning collection of her, but not a lightning collection with this arm. So an adult collector wants this form, they got to get this figure specifically. I don't know if... Uh, I haven't seen this Sentai... I don't even know if this is a Sentai form or if there's a Sentai figure for it. I just know about the U.S. stuff for this one mostly. There are a lot of seasons that I do know about the Sentai, but not for this one. I haven't watched it yet. Anyhow, let's check out detail and paint. The body is about what you would expect. There's some nice little details like wrinkling on the knees and stuff that's nice. It's mostly painted on the back. Which is more than I can say for... Actually, this seems to be fully painted on the back. Which is more than I can say for uh, a lot of Sentai Hero Series figures. That black right there, that's because I left her laying on cloth for too long. That's my bad. That's not something on the figure. That's just me being dumb. But it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, there's a lot of good detail there. See, that's metallic silver paint on most of her. Pretty cool. I really like that sticker. The kind of like rainbowy shine to it like a silver hologram panini card or something gold arm some gold plastic but then gold paint on top of that part there pretty good looking figure all things considered yeah she's real skinny and stuff but once again little kids toy very fun accessory wise she's got a couple things uh one thing is really for the role play item if you have the morpher you can get this key with it it also has one of the rainbowy stickers you put it in, and these little tabs here uh, let it make certain noises for playtime for the kitties or for, like, adult cosplays and stuff. Uh, I don't have the morpher, so I can't show you. I always say I'll get the morpher, and then I never effing do. So, oopsie-daisy. She does have the standard sword, however. I don't know if I'm going to display her with it because my regular Green Ranger from the 5-pack. You can check out my 5-pack review. Uh is displayed with her sword. I don't know if I want to display them both with the same weapon, but when it's the only choice you got, it's the only choice you got. But to me, I guess the speed sleeve is kind of the weapon. So, ching. Pretty cool, right? She looks good with it. She holds it very well, so it's not going to flop out during playtime or if she falls off the collector's shelf. Uh, that's pretty good. Now, let's look at size comparisons. The real size comparison that you definitely want to see is her with her own line. Sorry about the cat. She, <laughs> she, 
<laughs> she just wants love. She just wants love. Here she is compared <laughs> with her own line. Uh, this is a recent review of mine, the Dino Knight Red Ranger from Dino Fury. They're pretty perfect together. And they were literally made for each <laughs> Yes. I want to hold your hand too, kitty. Oh, ah, that's not hand holding. That's murder. <laughs> <laughs> they do look pretty magnificent together. Definitely got to play with the kitty after this so she gets her extra size. Uh, also, in that line, Void Knight. So as you can see, she scales perfectly with her own line, which is really all that matters. But I know that the adult collectors out there want to see this with the Lightning Collection. So, for the Lightning Collection, we'll do a lady and a fella, both Dino Rangers. Here we have Dino Charge Pink and Dino Thunder Blue, both recent reviews. Huh. You know, she actually looks pretty good. In my Dino Knight Red Ranger review, I said he was too small, because I was like, this is his big armor. He's supposed to be bulky, but he just kind of looks the same size as everyone else. And yeah, she looks like she's anemic or starving or something, but like height-wise, she's pretty good. She could be a little bulkier. But actually, she's fine. I kind of expected her to be too small. I'm not going to lie. And she kind of is in many ways. And also, her detail and paint isn't on par with theirs, so she will stand out next to them. But if you're the type that just puts all your rangers of the same size in the same display, like I do, she's going to look pretty good. That's better than I expected. She could be a little bigger for them. Maybe not height-wise, but like in thickness. But, huh. That actually is better than I expected. Okay. Now, how about some older US figures? Here she is with, bada bing, bada boom, Rhino Blaster. This is from the Mighty Morphin uh, Evil Space Aliens toy line. He's an eight inch figure. And maybe he's a little bigger than the exact size he should be next to her, but that actually doesn't bother me. In fact, it's a selling point because I feel like these villains should be big and imposing so that it feels like it takes a team to take them down. Then you have Bandai's Last Kid line, which was the Action Hero series. I think the last one they did was Ninja Super Steel, Super Ninja Steel, whatever it's called. Uh, but it would have been, been the same scale as this Super Mega Force Lightspeed Rescue Titanium Ranger, who's just straight up too small. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. And then... I believe I have some viewers that collect the Sentai figures. So here's the Sentai Hero Series 2 Kaiser. Way too effing big. That's not gonna work. Luckily, that's not the only scale of Japanese figure we have today. We also have the Poppy Magishine. Who's way too small. <laughs> the Magishine would go better with that Titanium Ranger. So yeah, these basic Japanese lines she's not going to go well with. But she goes well with her own line and surprisingly decent with the Lightning Collection. Uh, I think it's maybe the dudes that scale worse with the Lightning Collection. And then the ladies look better with it. That must be it. But what are my final thoughts on the Power Rangers Dino Fury Green Ranger with Speed Sleeve? Sprint Sleeve. Green Ranger with Sprint Sleeve? She's pretty cool. I'm digging her. Uh, this arm armor is a neat gimmick. It does hinder the articulation, but really that's the only complaint I have with this figure. I feel like the paint and articulation and detail and everything are good for a $10 kid's toy. Uh, I think kids will get a lot of fun play out of this. And if adult collectors want this in their collection, I think they'll be fine with it. I mean, if you only collect the most top-of-the-line stuff there is, you might not want her. But then again, you might not be able to get this form if you don't, you know, do that. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Just remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, uh, Twitter and whatnot. And also check out the link tree within the link tree, which will take you to my sales page. You can see stuff I'm selling on eBay. Uh, and if you're in Georgia, you can also find my store, which does have this figure in it for sale currently, but only one. <sighs> Just one of them left anyway. Most of my Dino Charge figures have sold and quickly. That's it. Thank you all once again. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.